we use the plant to make tea and we use this tea to treat mainly the cold and the flu for example there are some persons however who also use the plant to treat hey guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be featuring another jamaican medicinal herb this one is quite popular in a traditional folklore medicine not just in jamaica but in other cultures as well it's called ram goat dashalon and people use it to treat a variety of ailments which i'll be sharing with you today so stick around for the next round all right guys you are now looking at a medicinal plant whose scientific name is Ternero olmifolia. Now, Ternero olmifolia belongs to the Passiflorace plant family and the genus Ternero. In Jamaica, the preferred common name for this plant is Ramgoat Dashalong and the reason why it was given this name is because whenever male goats ate the plant they began jumping around on everything and you could see them dashing along some of the other common names for this plant are falls damiano jamaican damiano west indian holly and Cuban buttercup, among other common names. So, Ramgoat Dashalon can be described as a small perennial shrub. And um, it is erect and can grow to about three feet tall. These are the leaves of the plant and as you can see they are bright green on the surface and light green underneath. They are ovate in shape, simple, oppositely arranged and the leaf margins are serrated. The stems are bright green and woody at the base when young but becomes more woody as the plant matures. They also branch forming an open leggy plant and those in full sun branch more and stay fuller than those in partial shade. This is what a flower looks like and as you can see it is a beautiful bright buttercup yellow. It has five petals and um, these petals open daily at around 6 a.m. and usually you know they stay open for around six hours so by 12 in the afternoon they close so guys Ramgo Dashalon is native to Mexico Central America and the West Indies but you can also find it growing in Indonesia, Malaysia, Madagascar and many other tropical and subtropical parts of the world. In Jamaica 
the plant tends to grow wildly and organically in backyards, forests and other green spaces. And as mentioned before, it prefers full sun and will branch more and stay fuller in these conditions. However, it will still thrive in partial sun. Before I go any further guys, I would like it to be known that there is another plant by the name of Damiano and the scientific name for that plant is Ternero diffuser. That plant bears a striking resemblance to Ramgoat dashalon and persons oftentimes confuse one for the other. That plant is very well known as an aphrodisiac. Now, <laughs> Ramgoat dashalon does not have that property. In fact, the chemical constituents are totally different. All right, guys. So both Damiano and Ramgoat dashalon belong to the same plant family. And they look so much alike that even horticulturists and certified herbalists sometimes mistake one for the other. I really wanted to show you guys what Damiano looks like but unfortunately we don't have it on property and the pictures that I'm seeing on the internet are misrepresented. But anyhow here are the differences. Both plants have a distinct fragrance. Damiano has more of a sweet yet spicy smell, something similar to pepper. While Ramgoat Dashalon has more of a pungent tomato leaf smell with hints of chamomile. Damiano tends to have more woody stems, but Ramgoat Dashalon's stems tend to be more herbaceous. Damiano can grow pretty tall, while Ramgoat Dashalon tends to average somewhere between two to three feet tall. Damiano's leaves are noticeably smaller. They are less serrated and they have more of a pale green color. Also, they are not shiny. Damiano's flowers are smaller. They have bits of green in the center of the flowers. And the filaments and anthers are noticeably shorter. The plant was researched and um, researchers found in the preparations phenolic compounds, alkaloids, tannins, as well as flavonoids. And they also discovered anti-ulcerogenetic effects from the plant extracts. And what that means is that it can prevent the onset of ulcers. Studies have also proven that the plant has antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. It also has phytoconstituents as well. In Jamaica, we use the plant to make tea and we use this tea to treat mainly the cold and the flu, for example. There are some persons, however, who also use the plant to treat constipation, general weakness, fever, prickly heat, which is an itchy inflammation of the skin. So guys, I am just going to take you away from the video for a brief moment. If you are finding value in this video thus far, 
then please go ahead and hit that like button right now and you know if there's anything else about Ramgo Dashalon that you would like to share with the rest of us then please go ahead and drop your comment right now and please also share the video as well because you really never know who this information could be beneficial to. Thank you so much guys and now with that said let us get right back to the video. In the Bahamas, it's used to treat sore throats, colds, and to stimulate menstrual flow. In Haiti, there are persons who use it to treat hemorrhages, um, dysmenorrhea, as well as vertigo, toothaches, uterine bleeding, um, muscle and joint pain, as well as pain in the lower back. And persons also use it to treat dyspepsia, which is basically pain or an uncomfortable feeling in the upper middle part of the stomach. In other countries, people harvest the leaves from the plant and they use the green leaves. Some persons use the dried leaves to make tea. And they use this tea to treat different conditions or different ailments, you know, like menstrual cramps and crampy muscles in general. Uh, they also use it um, to calm the nerves. So basically they use it as an anti-anxiety agent. They also use it, you know, for pain and swellings as well as dermatological issues. To treat flotulence and for coughs, fever, colds and the flu, as well as bronchitis hair loss, as well as thrush, gastrointestinal issues, as well as pulmonary disorders, among other things. Ram goat dashalon contains toxins, so the plant should be taken in small quantities. Avoid use during pregnancy and breastfeeding. There are dangers associated with the use of herbal remedies. So if you'd like to learn more about the latter, then please click on the link in the description below. Medical disclaimer. The information shared on earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment it is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine if you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns please speak to your doctor about same 